Hi, today is Sunday, June 28th, and I'm going to talk about my day in Pikeville um, yesterday. So, Pikeville is in, like, southeastern Kentucky, and it is on the map because it is known for being one of the um, primary locations for the um, Hatfield-McCoy feud. And apparently that's very well known, but I had no idea what it is. It is, um, so the Hatfield and McCoy families were, um, you know, lived really close to each other. One of them was kind of more in Virginia and the other one was in Kentucky. And they fought over like land and property and then just the feud cascaded from there and um it was more about like honor and revenge and um just basically like you know eye for an eye so when one person in the family was killed then they killed that person in the like other family so very much like um Romeo and Juliet the Montagues versus the Capulets, because there even was, like, a romance in between the families, so it was interesting, I, that's, that's the reason I, I found a brochure on it, and it was about, like, two hours away, so that was, like, kind of why I decided to go there, and I, um, saw some pretty cool things, it was a really cute little town, they have a university there, and, um, it was really fun, so, I will post some pictures from that yesterday so we can kind of see some of the stuff I did or saw. Um, Also, when I was driving down there, I might have been speeding a little bit at one point, and I saw a cop pull, like, a U-turn to, like, come pull me over, and I was, crap, you know, I was, like, really nervous. So I just decided to pull over at the gas station and get gas. And the <clears throat> police officer pulls up behind me and he's like, even though you're pulled over, I'm pulling you over. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, should I get back in my car? And he's like, no, like you were speeding. And I was like, was I really? Like, I'm so sorry. Like, I wasn't paying attention. I just knew I needed to get gas. And I was close. I think I was just going down the hill and not really paying attention. And so I had my wallet in my hand because I had was getting my card out to... Um, like pay for gas. So I would get him like, here's my identification. Like, you know, do you want me to get back in my car? What do you need? He's like, well, can I have your insurance too? I'm like, it's a rental. Like they should have insurance. Like, let me get it out of the glove box. And so I got it out of the glove box and I gave it to him. And I, like when I was giving it to him, I saw that he had like the black band on his badge. So I asked him like if they had recently like sustained a loss, um, on their, in their unit. And he said, yeah. And so, like, I told him I was really sorry for their for their loss. And we had, like, a little bit of a conversation. And then he, like, gets back. So I'm like, can I? So he's going to go back in his car to, like, um, to run my, my license. And I ask him, like, well, can I keep pumping gas? Is that okay? He's like, yeah, that's fine. So he doesn't even get out of his car. He, like, pulls up really close to me and, like, hands me my ID through from his window. And he's like, just do me a favor and slow down. Okay. And I was like, yes, I'm really sorry. Like that's really irresponsible. And so, yeah, so I didn't get a ticket, which is great. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, um, have wanted to pay that. It would have been no good. Um, but it goes along the line with what I was saying the other day where I'm just like going through life too fast. So, um, I need to slow down. And so while I was driving there also, um, I went past a few, um, like, battlefield sites, Civil War battlefield sites. The first one was the, what's it called? The Battle of Middle Creek. And that one was kind of a a fight for Kentucky, basically. And the Confederates lost, and they, the, the ground that they lost, like, really took a lot away from them. So, um, you know, that was a big blow to the to the, the um, Confederacy, and um, it was also a big deal because the Union colonel was 
um, James Garfield, who, as most of you, some of you know, that he became the 20th president. So that was pretty cool. Um, another one was the Battle of Ivy Mountain. I don't really know much about that one. It just kind of had a monument. It didn't really have history there. So, um, that's what I saw for the battlefields. When I was in um, Pikesville, I had, uh, I stopped to look, look at the map and um, kind of plan out like while, where I was going to walk around. And I had a Kentucky bourbon barrel beer. And it was really good because it, so it was the type of the, a type of beer that um, that they like brew in the bourbon barrels, so it's got like that kind of bourbonish flavor. Um, anything else? Oh, so like yeah, also yesterday, one last thing. So I know this video is kind of getting long. Um, I had been seeing signs for um, this chick called Jenny Wiley. So I saw like signs for like Jenny Wiley State Park. Like I was driving along the Jenny Wiley Trail, and so I decided to look her up. And, um, she was an incredible woman. She was like a legendary pine pioneer. Um, her, she had a husband and kids and her husband had left for the day to go to like a trading post and her younger brother came by and said that he had heard like, um, bird calls and owl calls in the, in the woods and that they, he was worried that there was going to be a Native American attack. And she like wanted to figure some things out around the house before she like took the kids and left. And so they got attacked, and they killed the little brother, and they killed all of her kids except for one, a 15-month-old, and she was pregnant. So the 15-month-old in their captivity got sick, so they killed that baby, and then they killed the baby um, she was pregnant with um, after she had it. And after about a half year, um, maybe six, nine months, she escaped, and she found some, like a, some traders or some hunters or something and they helped her get back to the town where her husband was so she reunited with her husband and they started a new family and it's an incredible story she's an incredibly strong woman so I thought that was interesting so cool history around here for sure um, I'm gonna go back to Pikeville for sure because they have like white water rafting and some cool caves and, and neat outdoorsy stuff in that area so I'll be going back there um for sure so whoever wants to join me, giddy up and come down to Kentucky. So that's about all I have to say about my day in Pikeville yesterday. Um, it was really cool. I stayed for um, after sunset because there's like this lookout over the town. So I'll post some pictures of that as well. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the message or put them on Facebook and I'll try and answer them. And I miss you all and I love you all. And thanks for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye.